Hey there. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about something that um, that you may not be thinking about a lot, but you really should have on the forefront of your mind before every single interview you have for now, for the next year probably, and that is, let's talk body language, specifically in video interviews, okay? So, what you have to keep in mind with body language in video is that, uh, and, and you'll probably hear this if you look at other video experts, however, there's not a lot of video experts talking about how to do a video interview. And that takes a little bit different knowledge. So I'm gonna give you a few body language interview tips to do on video, but more than anything, I wanna make sure that you understand that in today's environment, and I'm making this in February of uh, 2021, in today's environment during this pandemic, there are hardly any face-to-face -face interviews. I mean, almost none. Of the last 20 people that we've helped get an, a, a new position in the last few months, only one has met their new boss face to face. Everybody's working virtually. They, they are doing video interviews only. Now, usually what that means though, because they cannot see you to judge you by who you are in person, they will have you talk with more people. So you may find that Video interviewing is a protracted process. Now notice how I used my hands a little bit bigger than my shoulders. So that's something I want you to keep in mind when you're doing video. You want to exaggerate your hand gestures if you're going to use them, but more than anything, they need to be authentic. If you don't normally use your hands, don't use them. But if you can get away with using them naturally without looking contrived, then that's, the go that's going to be the best bet for you in video interviewing. Now, this is extremely important because people judge you unconsciously with your body language, with what they see in you. Now, it may not be a fair judgment, but it is a judgment in the first 90 seconds to five minutes, depending on the study that you look at. So, it's actually a better idea to do video interviewing than it is to do in-person interviewing these days. I'll tell you why, because facial movements are very important. Seeing someone smile is very important. If you don't see that, you, you don't get a sense of who that person is. I'll give you a really interesting example. My uh, doctor, who I have adored and followed everywhere for the last 24 years, she just retired retired very quickly at the end of the year, decided, you know, I think I'm done. And I got to meet my, my new uh, doctor, the one that replaced her, the one that took over her practice. I got to meet her for the very first time uh, just a few weeks ago. And she had a mask on that covered most of her face. And so I never saw her face. I don't know what she looks like. I didn't know if she smiled. I couldn't tell. So if you are in a face-to-face -face interview, you've got a mask on and you can't exhibit good positive body language. Body language is 70% of everything that, uh, how we get our information, it's 70% of the information. And it's also, when they did that study, when you've heard that 7% are the words that you use and I think, uh, 23% is the, the way that you used your tonality in your voice, and then 70% is body language. That, that was a long time ago. I think it was in the 50s or 60s. And that study was all about trust. How much do you trust a person? And that trust was based on body language first, and then intonation in the voice, and then the words that you speak later. That's kind of interesting. So, so it's better to show some presence in video than it is to have a mask on your face, face to face. So let's talk about some of the things that you can do on, on video. Like I said, you'd want to make things a little bit more exaggerated. If you normally use your hands, don't keep your hands within 
your, sh your shoulders, okay? So if you're gonna use your hands, and let's say you're talking about an achievement that you did, where it started out with 3% margin and you made it to 13%, you know, something like that. Um, that's something that you can use, but I will tell you the, the biggest thing that you can do uh, as far as body language is smile. Smile first as soon as you get on the line before they smile so that you're on the line, you're, you're logging on, and you've got the smile on your face that emerges naturally as soon as you hit, as soon as you get on video. Now, they may or may not see you create that smile, but they're either going to see you create it first or they're going to, uh, you're gonna log on and your smile's already there, which is okay too. Smile big, I want you to show your teeth, whether your teeth are big like mine, doesn't matter. I want you to show your teeth and smile with your eyes. Think about what if you had a mask on your face? Would you would they be able to tell you're smiling with your eyes? You know, in other words, this is a this is a non-genuine smile. See how my eyes are not moving anywhere and this is a genuine smile. There's nothing different about my teeth and my mouth. It's all in the eyes. So always make a genuine smile. Um, also, here's a really important tip. If you want to be interested, which of course, everyone wants to be listened to and understood. So you want the hiring manager or any interviewer to feel like they are being listened to and understood. And the way that you do that is when they're talking, you're going to lean in a little bit more than you would do in person, lean in and then tilt your head a little bit. Now, I, I always do that. I mean, I'm listening all day long, 14, 16 hours a day is what I'm listening. So I'm constantly tilting my head and I think you could probably see that in my videos. Just keep that in mind as you're listening to someone, the way to, to show them that you're listening intently and actively is that you are leaning in and you tilt your head a little bit. Now you could tilt your head this way if you wanted to, but it doesn't really matter which way you tilt your head. I like to tilt my head to the left Sometimes or to the right. Sometimes I tilt it to the left. So it's it's almost like, what am I going to do to part my hair today? Um, okay. So so then, something else to consider is uh, if you're a woman and you are interviewing with either a man or a woman, toward the end of the interview, at some point, if they say something that is touching or if they say something that is exciting to you as part of the job. Touch your heart just for a moment. Just touch your heart. Oh gosh, that sounds amazing. That's, that's an unconscious signal to the other person that it's genuinely, authentically, whatever you're saying. So when you touch your heart, you're telling the truth because it's coming from the heart. I know that sounds really, really funky. Now, here's, uh, here's what you do if you're a man, because you're probably wondering, well, that's not fair. I'm, I'm not a woman. I can't touch my heart. Well, if you are a man with a woman interviewer, yes, you can touch your heart and you can go, Oh, that's just a real quick touch, real quick touch. And it doesn't have to be like this. It could just be like this, touch your heart because it shows that you genuinely have affection for the position, for the company, for the hiring manager, whatever it might be. It does not matter. So just quickly touch your heart. Now, what if you're mono a mono? What if you're man on man? What are you gonna do? Well, you don't wanna touch your heart. That would be weird. So instead, um, you could do a gesture like a high five. Whatever you do, I want you to lift your hand in the air and show your palm. Showing your palm is actually a sign that you trust them. It, it is a, a, you know, it's it's almost like a, a dog showing his belly. Dog don't like, doesn't like to show his belly to anybody unless they're being submissive. So same thing, it's showing your palm, showing that you trust them. Um, so you could say like, oh, that's great. You know, something like that. Just anything that they say that you can go, ah, oh, that's fantastic. Here's the thing. No one does anything negative with their hands held high. No. It's a, it's a high five, it's a high 10. It's, you, you, when you have your hand held high, 
you're doing something like praying, which is positive, and uh, high five, and say hello across the room, whatever it might be, it's always positive. So go ahead, uh, stick your hand up there in the air and make it positive. So something else too, if you can during the video, if you can either make them laugh or if you can laugh yourself, if they say something, now don't make it disingenuous, but if there's any way, don't make it just a smile or a little chuckle, laugh out loud, give them a belly laugh or make them laugh out loud as well. Um, if you can bring laughter to that conversation, it's almost as good as saying, yeah, you're hired. People like people that make them feel good. Remember Maya Angelou says, has said, um, it's, it's not how, it's not the words that you say that they remember. It's the way that you make them feel. So they will remember that they liked you because they made you laugh or you made them laugh. That's really a, a really big, big thing if you can. So if there's any kind of joke, in other words, especially if there's any kind of commonality. So when you're doing your research on the interviewer and you see that they went to the same school that your, your daughter goes to, or they, uh, there's, there's something having to do with some commonality and you can bring that up. Maybe, maybe they went to a college that's um, opposite of yours, a rival, something, you know, and uh, oh, I forgive you for being part of the devils or whatever it might be. Um, so you might, you might consider looking at something that you can make almost like an inside joke where both of you are talking and, and you say something and they're like, ah, that's funny. That's what you want to do. All right. So, you know, all of these video interviewing body language techniques are so important. Now, I didn't even get to the point where we're talking about lighting, you know, making sure that you've got good light on yourself. As a matter of fact, um, let me look here. See, you may think that I just showed up and sat here at the desk and started talking. It's not actually the case. I've actually got a uh, professional lighting kit. And if I turned it off, that's what you see. That's not good. <laughs> you don't want that. And so if you're in a video interview, you're going to want some good lighting. And it only costs, oh gosh, less than $50 to get a professional lighting kit from Amazon. You also want a lavalier microphone. Lavalier microphone is this little guy right here. It's also called a lapel mic. You'll, you're going to want one of those. And you're also going to want a high quality either webcam or right now I'm using actually a, um, a mirrorless 4K camera. So you can, you can actually set it up to where your regular camera is the streaming. You're, you're doing live streaming via Zoom or whatever you'd like just by setting it up. Um, if you have questions about that, put them below and I'd be happy to answer those. You know, speaking of below, if you found, if you're seeing this on LinkedIn and then, you know, I would love to uh, have a conversation with you if you want to talk about video interviewing. But um, also, if you found this to be helpful and you're on YouTube, please like this video and subscribe because that shows LinkedIn, sorry, shows YouTube that I really am worth listening to and it's worth sharing the information. So I would love for you to subscribe to get more information as well as if you found this helpful uh, to, to get, um, to give a like as well. I'd love to see that as well. So um, that's, you know, it is so important that we, and I don't remember if I've said this or not, but it's so important as far as video interviewing, we did make it part of our, our basic branding program. So now with the branding program, we didn't change the price or anything, but with the branding program, you now get professionally produced videos as well as video coaching on how to present yourself in a video interview in a way that exudes that video presence. And I got a, uh, a video expert to do it. It's not me. It's actually somebody who's much better than me. So, um, so I look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, I would love to know what has happened on a video interview for you. I'd love to see that in the comments. Have you had interviews? Have they gone well? What have you noticed or what could you tell people that haven't had video interviews yet about what to expect? And so let me know. I'm really interested to hear 
how your video interviews went and if this information was helpful. All right, again, this is Tammy Cavell with Career Resume Consulting. Thanks for watching.